Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for season 2 episode 7 of Dawson's Creek. This time, the title of the episode is The All Nighter. And we are back. We're here. We're ready. We're excited to watch a new episode of Dawson's Creek. Um, previous episode, I think it was the... I think Dawson found out... Didn't also found out about the kiss? And also, didn't they broke up, Joey and, and, and Dawson? I think so. Which I am, like, okay with it. I don't know. I, 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 I mean, I find... Do I find them cute? Ah, but predictable, you know? And you guys know what I want. Pacey and Joey, that's what I want. You know? And I don't see that happening anytime soon. Because our boy, my boy... Pacey is, um, you know, entering in a very sweet moment uh, uh, on a relationship with Andy. I totally love Andy, um, but I'm not really, like, rooting for that relationship. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyway, so here we are um, with season two, episode seven. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys continue supporting for more because I will be doing more reaction videos for Dawson's Creek. Um, if you are on YouTube, the thing is that I always upload the normal version on YouTube and it always gets blocked. And so that's the reason why it's blurred out. But you can find the same version without the blur on my Facebook in case you guys want to check that out which makes a lot more sense to watch it with a little bit of, like, context of what is it that I'm reacting to. Because sometimes I say, see, look at that. And you can because it's blurred out. So it, if it is blurred out, go to my Patreon. Not, not to my Patreon, to my Facebook page. And then you can find it. Which, but, uh, at the moment, I'm using my Facebook page as a backup channel of some, you know, because it, it will be stupid if I, I can't upload it to YouTube because it will continue to be blocked for whatever reason. Anyways, in case you guys want to check that out. Um, but yeah, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, on call reaction on Patreon. If you're watching this on Facebook, how about share it? Like, that will help a lot, I think, reach more people. I don't know if you guys are into that. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, for now, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoy, and without further ado, let's just begin with season 2, episode 7 of Dawson's Creek. Here we go. I mean, think about it. I mean, there's not a single dramatic storyline in existence that Shakespeare didn't conquer first. Family revenge, political entry, the great gender battle. The guy mapped it all out for us. And what was his parting lesson? It was genre of all genres that he finally arrived at after years of toil and sacrifice? Tragic. Ah. Oh. Like all great romantics, <laughs> finally realized that... He usually does this with Joey, but since he's not with Joey, he's, he decided to traumatize his mom. <laughs> the mom is crying because of her failed marriage. And here he is talking about uh, Shakespeare. Dawson for you, you know? Advantages? Sure. Like, um, allowing yourself to stuff your face with a lifetime supply of red licorice and donuts. Or, um, a newfound appreciation for country music. Oh, please don't like do that. An excuse. Please don't do that. He's already too much, imagine, if he likes that type of music. Let's not do that, please. Hey. Oh. Dawson, at some point we are going to have to say something to each other. What would you like me to say, Joey? I don't know. What do you want to say? Go away. Oh my god. Don't be a child. Besides that? Joey, you made it very clear that you needed space, okay? I'm giving you that space. Well, I didn't think it would mean that we'd be cutting off all communication, Dawson. Well, what did you think it would mean, Joey? This isn't fair. To which one of us? You can't make up all the rules. Look, I don't want to. Then what do you want? <laughs> Thought you guys promised not to do this. <laughs> yeah, you know what? You got me. That's me, Mr. Embarrassingly Pure. Whatever. He doesn't so, want to talk okay. about... You know what? But, like, if you talk about it, if you actually... I really don't think they're going to do it. But, like, let's just understand what happened and how that teacher abused him. Let's be real. To form a study group. Have you ever seen this man's house? 
His family is totally loaded. They got a satellite dish. Come on. <laughs> All right, we're in. Cool. I'll drive. So it's just the four of you? Yeah, Can you be joining us? Oh, can you like not? Hey, Dawson, we're headed to the Oh my god, so everyone is gonna be there. To I kinda expected that. Actually, you're headed to a different study session if you're up for Different. <laughs> of course. Don't don't they know that they broke up? By my watch, if we allow for a few 15-minute breaks, we'll be able to cover the entire course load by midnight. That will still give us enough time to do an hour speed round and get a good night's sleep. Sound good? No. <laughs> I wouldn't do that much of studying. Uh, anybody want to order pizza? Me. Absolutely, yeah. 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 <laughs> You're in control. That we're a lot alike. That uh, reputations aren't worth the air they're written on. That the only way to really get to know someone is by getting to know them. Deal. She's very sweet, you know. She always gives people a chance, you know. Okay, three points. Can you give us his most famous book? Um, okay, come on. Beauty is truth. Truth, beauty. Okay, can you be less intense? I swear, These God. Are, I've, I forgot. I, I swear God, he could be a little bit li like if he's a little bit more intense. Like he like. I was gonna say something that I don't think is the right thing. So let's just move on. <laughs> let's say something bad. <laughs> okay, in an effort to keep this moment of folly under just control, that, I'm. It's just that Pacey doesn't want to talk about what happened with, with. Uh, I want to say Barbara, but I don't think that's her name. Oh my god, I blocked it out. Tamara! That the sexual activity with a member of the same sex. With a transvestite? With a four-legged well, creature. <laughs> Have you ever paid you. for sex? Just dinner time? Question yeah. number 84. I mean, it used to you used to say that word, so I'm gonna allow it. Ooh, have you ever fantasized about a friend's significant other? Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Quiet time, all of a sudden. <laughs> Not now, Dawson. I saw the look in your face when you read that question. Is this your version of space? So are you free to leave any time? I don't see you making a rush for the door. Well, that's because I came here to study, Dawson. I didn't yeah. know that you were coming. Well, is it so awful that I'm here? No. What? <laughs> Stop putting words into my mouth. I asked for time, Dawson. Just time. Please respect that. <laughs> a second ago, she wanted to talk to him. Now he wants to talk, and she's like, give me time and space. <laughs> Teenagers can be so complicated. Wait a minute. We're missing one here. Pacey. Right here. No, why didn't you turn it in? Didn't really want to. Hand it over. You dog. Well, this wouldn't have anything to do with question number 16. Oh, my 16, God. I don't get it. Yeah, well, we blew right past it, but I think we should read it again aloud. What do you say, Pace? No, stop Come on, it. I'm dying to know. What'd you put for 16, Winter? Let's just put an old room to rest right now. Then you were fall off my chair. Oh, shut up. You didn't have Ms. to do Jacobs, that. The, um, teacher of love, Capeside. Yeah. Pacey, you said that you were embarrassingly pure. Those were your words, right? Oh, damn. You are an ass, Chris. What is it? It stops looking at him like he committed murder or something. He was abused, okay? Friends different. She's, uh, too with it. Closing the deal requires a completely different strategy. Closing the deal? Up. No, I mean a heavy game of Uno. Oh, oh fuck you. We'll see. Okay, also you have, like, I understand that you uh, can be a worry friend and, like, say he might just use you, but, like, other than that, you don't get to, like, get upset, Dawson. You know, Chris, you know, I used to think that it was our mutual feelings for Dawson that kept us apart. I never really considered the fact that maybe you were just a bitch. She is acting like that. Yeah. 
She hasn't done anything to you, Joey. You're you're projecting your anger towards her, and it's not fair. Because I, for one, you know, I do care about the drama and all of that, but I, for one, will think that these two could be amazing friends. Girlfriends? Why not? <laughs> but no, no, seriously, amazing friends, you know? Does it... I'm pretty sure Andy... It's not the same actress that I am thinking of. But doesn't Andy f from from Dawson's Creek, Andy from Dawson's Creek, what is the name of the act? Andy McPhee, Meredith Lee Monroe. Okay, so definitely not, but she does look a lot like a young Kyler Lee, right? Kyler from Alex from um, Supergirl. Uh, Little Grey from uh, from Grey's Anatomy. He was abused. Fair, yeah. You're judging me. You don't even know the circumstances. Besides, I slept with her, not you. Why would you do it, Pacey? Why? Also, Thanks. oh, so there were no feelings involved. Of course, oh. there were feelings involved. You asked why. Okay, I take it back. I don't want to know anymore. But also, you know, even if it wasn't the teacher, he is allowed to have a pass. Granted, since he didn't told you about it. But also, is that like a requirement when you get into a relationship that you? disclosure all the partners you have been with i mean my list will be extremely short but still i want to keep it private <laughs> yo jen hot tub's ready right down dawson hey. 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 dawson what you're not going in no um can I talk to you for a second yeah i I'm... I'm worried chris doesn't exactly have the best of intentions here I think you'll find her last answer rather interesting. Seems while well, you've only been in love once. According to you know whose answer sheet, she's been in love twice. Is that true? Who is the second person? <laughs> Dawson is a friend and then Dawson is a boyfriend? <laughs> because like that's all she talks about. Right, that's enough, it's time to study. No. You know what? Try harder. <laughs> That's actually good advice. <laughs> Wait. Oh my god, don't tell me that the only time you have been I'm in love. Tonight, Dawson. I am so tired. I'm actually trying to get five minutes of studying in. Or why can't we just be friends, Dawson? Is that really what you want? Yes! After everything that we've been through, you just want to go back to being friends. Yeah! Joey, if you don't understand why that can't happen, if you don't get that, you don't get me. And I don't see that problem with not getting you, honestly. <laughs> this girl is really... Oscar nominating. All right, there are repercussions. Hearts get broken. Friendships get ruined. Your entire life can fall apart because of one kiss, all right? That's what you have to look forward to. So do yourself a big favor. Don't rush it. My god, you ended up scaring the little girl. Oh my god. Great, Dawson. Great. How 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 to make things even worse? A book by Dawson Larry. <laughs> Don't f uh, fuck off. How's this? Growing up sucks. And not really all kisses does. are magic and most boys do not live up to your is that what happened with you and Dawson? He didn't live up to your expectations? But Honestly, they were extremely there high, though. When everything, I mean, love, romance, relationships. Thank you. For okay. For a very sex? fun night. Shit. Wait a sec, I'll get dressed and I'll be down with you. Oh, no, no, that's cool. Just uh, take your time. I'll meet you down there. 
I mean, he did say he wanted to have fun. He didn't promise you to marry you All the right, next day. All right, everybody, so. listen up. We got exactly four concentrated hours in which to study for the <laughs> deadliest exam of our young adult lives. We're done. But I got one last piece of action. The pool? <laughs> I mean, just because we're not together anymore does not change my feelings for you, Dawson. It's, it's me I'm unsure of it. Joy, I'm gonna give you that space. No real hostility, no underhanded comments, just... Just space. That's okay. But that I mean... not change the way I feel about you. Nothing can change that. That's actually extremely sweet, you know, and... Totally understandable how he has been acting. At the end of the day, he is 15, 16, you know? Okay, guys, so that was the end of season two, episode seven of Dawson's Creek. And, you know, this was a, a good episode. A, a good episode. I liked it. Um, you know, Dawson can be extremely. Um, that is, like, he, he he's too much. Sometimes. You know, and I think I was a little bit harsh on him because he was acting up. But by the end, when he talks, when he finally talks to Joey, um, you can see that he really is hurting. You know, because he feels that he's not only losing Joey as a girlfriend, but he's losing Joey as a friend. And his friendship with Joey is extremely important for him. And for Joey as well. But Joey's trying to figure shit out, you know? Um, and while doing so, they are in this situation where, you know, the, uh, Joey needs space, needs time, needs to figure out who she is other than the girl that has been in love with Dawson for all these years, you know? Um... And honestly, the shift on, you know, on wanting the other person and being in love with the other person, kind of shifting and kind of like balancing it out where you see both Joey and Dawson being in love with each other and, and, and not just being Joey, the one who is hung up on him. And the other one just, you know, not being even aware of it. And it's kind of balancing out. And I think it, it, it could potentially lead to something even bigger and, and, and to be stronger. We are. And I think that I have to remind myself of this. Um, they are still in high school. They are 15, 16 year olds, you know. You don't have your life figured out by that age. You don't necessarily have are hundred percent sure this is a person you're gonna spend the rest of your life with. So, it's not so much about an end game at this point. It's about just the situation and who they are as a as a person at that moment and what they want from life at that moment. You know, and they are allowed both both of them are allowed like joy is allowed to have her moment to you know understand that she wants to have a moment uh to think and space and and dawson is allowed a hundred percent to be his dramatic self you know because i mean it's better if he does it right now than if he does it down the road when he's 40 and he's still as annoying as he sometimes is you know um so i have to give them both of them including joey a bit of a slack and understand that you know they are young they're prone to make mistakes to exaggerate things to make things like because at that age honestly problems feel like the end of the world you know so you have to understand that you have to put the age, just to be able to judge them as characters, you know? And same thing goes for for Jen, you know? And, like, the thing with Jen that 
pisses me off. It's not so much that Jen hangs out and like, you know, wants to sleep around. It's just the this idea that what she's doing is wrong, right? That because she's enjoying her life and because she's having fun, it's wrong. And then you have this idea that you cannot be just a one night stand type of girl, right? Because it is the wrong thing. It is the great thing. It is the expected thing for this guy, Chris, to be having multiple partners, but it's not the same thing uh, for Jen to do the same, to, you know, go around and have fun, you know? And time and time again, she tells herself that that is the correct thing to do, when in reality, she has to do what she feels like to do like doing like what she wants to and she has to be safe which it looked like they were and that's it you know they have to just she has to live her life in the best way without then later on feeling guilty because oh you're such a like you know trash for sleeping with this guy and sleeping with that one is you know it shouldn't be like that she shouldn't i hate that she has that pressure of being saint and pure and because she's not, then she is supposed to be, you know, this lot, the, uh, you know, and that, that's just terrible, you know. And the, the fact is that even herself, she feels that way. She feels that she's, she's, she's falling in that category, you know, and I hate, hate that. Um, of course, with, uh, with Pacey and, and Andy, um, they do this thing where Pacey's experience with Tamara is seemed it seemed it's seemed uh as the my gosh, such a player, you know, he's led with an older woman. And like he's supposed to be this you know, legend because he did it. When in reality it was this awful person who took advantage of a very vulner vulnerable boy you know he was 15 like of course he was gonna say yes but it was her duty as an adult and as her as his teacher to say no to his advances advances you know but now it's thought of like oh he's such a you know good and like when he talks to to Andy about it, it's more so like, oh, you know, yes, I might have more experience than you, but you will have it too. And like, it is seemed as, it is done like, oh, it doesn't matter. You were not actually abused, you know. Um, it is a statutory rape, e even if he agreed to it, you know. And it's just wrong because, trust me, they could only have done this storyline where a teacher sleeps with a student, the student being a boy, you know, because we don't think the boys can be raped, right? Um, which, granted, there are examples, you know, in more recent uh, TV shows, Pretty Little Liars, uh, where it happens the other way around, where is the student is a girl, and we're supposed to ship it, and we're supposed to, you know. Granted, uh, Ezra was a lot younger. Uh, he was supposed to be 20-something, fresh out of college, right? And Ari was supposed to be... No, Ari was supposed to be 15, 16. Okay, so this is still wrong. And he even before that is like with Allison. And like, it's just... Oh my God, Ezra. And the whole Ezra thing still bothers me. But anyways. Um, thing is that I think that if this was done in the same exact way it was done with Pacey, but with a girl, then the story could and would have been a lot different, you know? Um, and, you know, I understand why Andy was upset because of the lie of it all. And that's the only reason I'm going to get behind her on why she was upset, you know, that she was 
uh, she was liked to and that she didn't need to find out that way. But honestly, it was something that he did not want to share. And like he has every right to not share that part of his life, even if it's, you know, with the girlfriend. If he doesn't want to, then it's his decision, you know. We shouldn't be, like, just saying, you know, um, uh, oh, no, it's his girlfriend. He should say something. No. <laughs> um, but anyway, so that happened. Um, and, yeah, well, at the end of the day, they were trying to study for a test that never actually happened because the teacher was sick. Um... And we had a lot of really, you know, uh, cute moments with them running into the pool. It was really fun. Uh, them doing the even the, the the test, you know. I think it was it was it was fun when it was fun, you know. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited to see what else is going to happen, and excited to see, excited to watch more, you know. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys liked it. Please give it a thumbs up if you love Dozen Creek. Subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, and you can go right now to Patreon and watch the full uncut extended version for this reaction and so much more. So in case you guys want to do that, link as always will be in the description down below. And for now, I think that's about it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for Dawson's Creek. That's it. Mwah. Bye, guys.